Good morning. We are getting right back into it today. Our second candy that we're going to be making for our Christmas holiday baking season is one of the easiest ones that you could possibly make. So this is great for first timers who've never cooked before. It's also good if you want to get the kids involved in this one. These are peanut butter buckeye balls. So you're going to start with four tablespoons of softened butter and then you're gonna add one cup of creamy peanut butter. You could also use crunchy peanut butter if you would like. It'll turn out just the same. That's just personal preference. We're going in with one teaspoon of vanilla now. You're gonna throw in a pinch of salt and if you want to measure it, a pinch is one eighth of a teaspoon. And then we're going in with one and a half cups of powdered sugar. You're gonna use two cups in total, but the other half a cup is gonna come in after we get this part mixed up. So one and a half cups of powdered sugar to start right here in this step. And you can mix this either by hand like I'm doing or you can use an electric mixer. An electric mixer would be easier because once you get this powdered sugar mixed in with that peanut butter, this gets really, really thick and dense and it's kind of hard to stir. So I would advise opting for the electric mixer. But you're just going to mix this and this is going to take a little while. You want to make sure that you get all of the powdered ingredients very well incorporated into that peanut butter and butter mixture. You don't want any powder still showing whenever you're finished with this part. So you get a good arm workout if you're doing it by hand. All right, so that I've sped through there, that's what it should look like once that's finished. Now we're gonna take our other half a cup of powdered sugar out onto your counter or onto a cookie sheet or wherever you're gonna be mixing this at. And now, if you've watched my video on how to make the pecan sticky buns, I showed you how to knead bread dough. That's what we're going to do to this also. You fold it over on itself, and then you're going to push down and out on that dough. And you're going to keep doing this until you have all of that powdered sugar that's laid out on your counter well incorporated again. You don't want any of it showing. And this part's kind of hard. It'll take quite a bit of arm muscle. If you're really short like I am, sometimes it's helpful if you have a little step stool to raise you to where the dough is like below your waist level and you can really push your weight down on it. So that'll take you another couple of minutes and then comes the fun part, which is rolling it out. This is where it might be helpful if you have kids in the kitchen or even just an extra set of hands from anybody because this part takes a little while. And how big you make these is completely dependent on your personal preference. I make mine about an inch and a half or so, but you're just going to pinch pieces off of this. You'll see me running it back and forth through my hands, just squishing it to get that butter and peanut butter that's in it really warmed up. That way it rolls smooth. Otherwise, if it's not warmed up and rolled well, it will be kind of crumbly. And you want to try to get it as round as you possibly can. And that's about how big mine are. That's what it should look like once it's done. Then you pop this tray in the freezer for 15 minutes once you have it completely rolled out. So mine's been in the freezer for 15 minutes and now I have my chocolate mixture that these get dipped in. This is one bag of chocolate chips. You can use any flavor of chocolate chips that you would like. Semi-sweet, dark chocolate. I opt for milk chocolate because that is my favorite. But you take one bag of chocolate chips and two teaspoons of vegetable shortening. You're going to microwave that for 30 second intervals until it's completely melted and smooth. If you don't like using the vegetable shortening, you can also put coconut oil in this instead to make your chocolate stay smooth. And then you're going to take toothpicks, shove down into the top of these frozen peanut butter balls, and you're just going to dip it into the chocolate and then kind of roll your wrist to get it coated all the way around, leaving a small circle up the top, just like a regular Buckeye that you pick up off the ground would look. You're gonna repeat this process until you have your whole tray coated. 
I ended up getting 42 of these Buckeye balls out of my recipe with how big I rolled them. If you rolled the balls smaller, you'll get even more of them out of there. And once you have all of these dipped in chocolate, they go back in the freezer for 15 minutes and then they are ready to go. You can keep them refrigerated or just keep them in a tin out on your counter. If they're out on the counter though, your chocolate will get a little bit soft but not melty. And that is it, you are finished. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos and we have plenty of more Christmas baking coming up. Thanks for watching.